In a shocking turn of events, popular YouTuber turned boxer, KSI, delivered a knockout blow to the professional boxer Joe Fournier in the second round of their highly anticipated match. The crowd was sent into a frenzy as the underdog rose to the occasion, defying all odds. However, the celebrations were short-lived. Amid the chaos, the referees reviewed the footage and declared that KSI had used an illegal elbow strike in the decisive moment of the match. The decision was overturned, leading to KSI facing potential disqualification. This controversy has taken the internet by storm, adding a new level of intrigue to the aftermath of the fight. As the boxing world debates the validity of the decision, this spectacle is something you don't want to miss. Stay tuned to watch how this entire mess unfolds. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. 3. The Fight KSI will make his return to the ring next weekend in his biggest fight yet as he faces his first professional boxer in Joe Fournier. The YouTuber in 4, Zero Boxer, is set for a swift return to the sport following his first round KO win over FaZe Tempere in January. Fournier represents a significant step up in quality for the Brit as he is an undefeated boxer with a record of 9, Zero who has fought David Hay in an exhibition scrap. KSI, who has made it clear that his long-term goal is to beat Jake Paul, is bidding to get one over on his arch rival by beating a pro after the latter's perfect record was ended when he faced Tommy Fury earlier this year. More on that later. The six-round cruiserweight bout is set to take place on Saturday, May 13th. The fight will be held at the Wembley Arena in London, with ring walks for the main event penciled in for 10.30 p.m. As for what's been going on with their back and forth, KSI said, I can't wait to show the world what Jake Paul couldn't knock out a pro boxer. Each fight, people are seeing a better KSI, and I'm honestly scared for Fournier because once I land my right or left hand on his chin, it's night-night. As soon as people enter the ring with me, they realize they are in hell, and they either leave the ring bruised, battered, or sleeping. In the ring, I am an evil man, Fournier said. This is huge. It's as big as it gets. It's on Dazen Pay-Per-View at Wembley against one of the biggest global superstars, not just in boxing. But I am going to break a lot of little hearts when they see KSI unconscious on the canvas. This is way too soon to fight me, but the deal is done. And just like Jake Paul, he will find out that when he gets into the ring with a real boxer, it's a whole different ballgame. He is in for a rude awakening. He's not wrong. Jake Paul lost to a boxer in somewhat embarrassing fashion, and now, well, he's taking a step back to pursue some old habits. 2. Jake Paul and Nate Diaz Yep, you've been hearing about this fight for multiple reasons, and it's still scheduled to happen currently. Jake Paul and ex-UFC bad boy Nate Diaz will compete in a boxing match August 5th at American Airlines Center in Dallas. The bout will be contested at 185 pounds and is contracted for 8 rounds with 10-ounce gloves. The event will be a 50-50 collaboration between Paul's most valuable promotions and Diaz's Real Fight Inc. It will be the first time Diaz has ever promoted himself. The first time he'll fight outside the UFC in 15 years and his first career pro boxing match. Diaz has competed in some of the biggest pay-per-view events in UFC history, and Paul has made a name for himself as, well, a lot of negative things as you can guess and imagine, but he is trying this boxing thing for better and for worse. But no matter your feelings on the two, make no mistake, this is a grudge match that both have been chomping at the bit to get. Diaz and Paul have exchanged trash talk on social media and in interviews over the past 18 months. In October, during a boxing event headlined by Paul and UFC legend Anderson Silva, Diaz's team and Paul's team got into an altercation backstage, and Paul challenged Diaz in his post-fight interview after defeating Silva. Diaz has typically fought in MMA at 155 pounds and more recently at 170 pounds. Paul has fought as heavy as 191.5 pounds as a pro. He weighed in at 183.6 pounds for Fury. Paul, 6'1", lost his first career boxing match in his last bout to Tommy Fury, the brother of heavyweight great Tyson, back in February via split decision. The Ohio native, who trains out of Puerto Rico, is undefeated against MMA fighters, including Silva, Tyrone Woodley, and Ben Askren. He beat the latter two by knockout. Paul has only been a pro since 2020. My last fight didn't end the way I wanted, but the result was the best thing that could have happened to my professional boxing aspirations, Paul said in a statement. Now the world thinks I am vulnerable when all I am is more focused than ever. My team wanted me to take an easy fight like KSI next, but that's not how I am built. Nate Diaz is considered one of the most badass fighters of all time, but he and his team have been running their mouths for too long. 
a bold and ironic statement from Paul, something he seems to give a lot of as of late. Diaz fought out his UFC contract with a submission win over Tony Ferguson at UFC 279 in September. The Stockton, California native handed Conor McGregor his first UFC loss back in 2016. Diaz has headlined 10 UFC events and won the Ultimate Fighter 5 tournament in 2007. He's one of the most popular fighters in MMA history and is a former sparring partner of top boxer Andre Ward. Besides Canelo, he's the biggest thing in boxing, Diaz said in a statement. I'm here to conquer that. I'm the king of combat sports and then I'm headed back to get my UFC belts. I f ed up Connor for acting out and now here I am again like a superhero of the real fight game, the king of the real fight game. Diaz has made it known that he plans on returning to the UFC in the future with a McGregor trilogy fight still on the table down the road. Paul, meanwhile, had talked about a Tommy Fury rematch next or the aforementioned bout with fellow YouTube star KSI, but Paul versus Diaz was too big of a matchup to pass up. Jake's star power and popularity continue to command massive audiences worldwide, most valuable promotions co-founder Nakisa Badarian said in a statement. His most recent bout, Paul vs. Fury, surpassed more than 800,000 pay-per-view purchases and was a commercial success for all our partners. Jake remains one of the most avidly followed fighters in the sport, and all eyes are on him, wondering what's next. Well, what's next is one of the most vicious men ever in the cage. No other fights have been announced for the event, though given the bad blood between the two teams, it wouldn't be surprising to see Paul and Diaz teammates on the undercard. Nate's departure from the UFC made him the most sought-after free agent in combat sports history with all eyes looking to see what his next move would be. Real Fight Inc. President Zach Rosenfield said in a statement, In choosing to make his boxing debut against Jake Paul, Nate found an opponent where there is an organic, non-scripted backstory that motivates him and will clearly capture the excitement of audiences throughout the world. Currently, Nate Diaz is facing woes due to some legal issues. But as of now, there is no word on whether this will affect the overall fight. If it doesn't, they'll lock gloves in August. But is that a good thing? 1. Celebrity Boxing Recently, a major boxing match took place between two of the best young boxers in the world. They had undefeated records, it was a fun match, and it had a powerful finish. And yet, even with everything right that went with that fight, people are still watching Celebrity Boxing. Why? The easy answer is that, simply put, people want to see their favorite celebs box and some are just itching for some boxing action. But if things go a certain way, the bubble that these celebs have been riding on might end soon. Only time will tell, and there you have it, everyone. A look at what's going on with the fight of KSI versus Joe Fournier and how his rival Jake Paul might feel if he was to be a real boxer before he does. Do you think that this could be a good fight, or will this be another example of a celebrity trying to pretend to be something they're not and get shown up for it? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.